wherever you are, whatever you're doing, do it with everything that you have. Develop the habit of giving more than what you're paid for. Develop the habit of, of setting standards that others will be measured by. Do not go where the path may lead, but go where there's no path and leave a trail. Yeah, so in order to change a belief or a perception about yourself and your life, you gotta go all in. Mm -hmm. It's not like you go 50% in, you gotta go all in. You gotta make a decision with such firm intention that the amplitude of that decision carries a level of energy that causes the body to respond to the mind. That the choice that you make becomes a moment in time you'll never forget. And you would say, I remember the moment I made up my mind to change. And the stronger the emotion you feel, the more you'll pay attention to the decision. And that's a huge stone. The process of working on your dreams you are going to incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain. There's a bigger dream waiting for you, just waiting for you to step into it. To step into it. Your life is big. Your life is huge. And we spend so much time wanting to be in somebody else's life. And you don't get honored, you don't get revered, you don't get celebrating wanting what somebody else has. But momentum requires you always do the next thing to keep the momentum going. And the reason you get yourself in a passionate place is so that you change your life and the only thing that changes your life is making a decision. So while you're in this passionate state, that's where you make decisions. If you make a decision in a state without momentum, if you make a decision from a place where there's no passion, you are not gonna get momentum. It'll kill momentum. It's decide, commit, and resolve. Well, the first thing I would say is, well, you should be afraid of taking risks and pursuing something meaningful. But you should be more afraid of staying where you are if it's making you miserable. First thing you want to do is dispense with the idea that you get to have any, any permanent security outside of your ability to contend and adapt. It's like, you're paying a price by sitting there being miserable. You might say, well, the devil I know is better than the one I don't. It's like, don't be so sure of that. Yeah, and if you're miserable in your job now and you change nothing in five years, you'll be much more miserable and you'll be a lot older. It's okay to settle. It's okay to give up. And that is the instinct you need to fight. You need to push back to smash into the ground. Do not take the easy way out. Do not give up based on instinct. I don't think, I don't remember now, I'm not talking about what makes you happy. It's a luxury to pursue what makes you happy. It's a moral obligation to pursue what you find meaningful. And that doesn't mean it's easy. It might require sacrifice. instinct that says you've had enough this is the instinct that says you, you've, you've given it your best shot you can you can stand down you can back off you can take a knee this is the instinct that says you can rest now do not listen to that instinct do not listen. If you are not defined by some vision that is bigger than you, 
and you are not passionate about that vision, then you're left with the old hardware of the past in your brain, and you will be predictable in your life. So would you agree then? New thoughts, new information should lead to new choices. New choices should lead to new behaviors. And new behaviors should create new experiences. And new experiences should produce new emotions. Most people are not accumulating wealth. Most people are living in poverty. Most people are living far below their potential. Not because they don't have the capacity, not because they have not been given authority and dominion over everything on the face of the earth, but most people are living like they're living because of the fact that they don't believe they can have any more than what they now have. A, a resilient person is capable of standing up to things in the face of fear and moving forward voluntarily, convinced of their own competence and ability to prevail. If you break, the fight is just beginning. And as you crawl up and out of that dismal and wretched place, as you rise above what you were, and as you take the form of of who you are supposed to be. You will see that in the very act of standing up, in the very act of fighting on, you will become and you will remain unbroken. So every day you have to sell yourself and get out of your mind those old thoughts, that old belief system. Every day you've got to sell yourself on that it's possible.